Hold me tight, 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 tight. All the darkest secrets I have a violent throne. Hi hotties, welcome to today's video. It's a little chit chat get ready with me. I think these are really fun to do and I tried a new makeup look today. I think I did an okay job. It's very like Asian inspired, like very Pinterest girl, it girl. In this video, I also show you how I get volume in my hair in the easiest way. It literally takes less than five minutes and this is what it looks like. So yeah, let's get cozy and do our makeup together and chat. So I've been seeing this look everywhere. If you look up Doyin makeup, she's literally the first thing that pops up. She's absolutely gorgeous, obviously. So I want to try this makeup look. I've actually never done like manga lashes. So yeah, I'm gonna try something new. Let's see how it goes. I love experimenting with makeup. It's also lunchtime right now, but I want to film instead. So I'm just gonna eat this granola bar and then grub later after I film. I'm gonna start off with my base and you can see that I have a lot of redness so let's try to cover it up. I don't know if you can see here too but I get stress rashes and I feel like I've had this same rash for months because you girls kind of going through it but when am I not going through it? Anyways what I like to do is try to distribute the product and kind of blend it out with a brush and then I go in with a little beauty blender then I really try to buff it out. I just feel like I don't know if I'm doing it wrong with a brush but I always see streaks so I always just try to blend it out with this. Y'all know I love to talk and have our little FaceTime chat. So how are you doing? I can't believe February is already over. I know it's the shortest month of the year, but still it's actually insane to me. I hope the year has been treating you well so far. A lot of insane things have happened to me this year already. So I don't really know how 2023 is gonna end up, but we're trying to stay positive. With my concealer, I like putting it on and then letting it sit for around 30 seconds. So it can kind of like, my skin can, you know, really grip onto it. And then I try to buff it out with my finger or, you know, anything else. This is the granola bar I'm eating, by the way. And I absolutely love it. And Martin hates it. So whenever I buy it, it's only me. But I don't know. I love fruits and nuts in my mouth. What can I say? <laughs> Foundation and concealer is done and then I'm gonna go in with some powder because I feel like Doyin makeup is not particularly glowy I would say it's more like a subtle glow. So I'm just gonna matte it in Asian makeup I feel like they like a more straight and soft eyebrow. So I'm not gonna go too crazy with this I'm not getting ready for anything in particular. I just want to look hot and sexy for you guys. Maybe take some selfies also. Actually, that's kind of half a lie because <laughs> the love of my life August D or Suga from BTS Oh, this is what happens when I talk about him. I'm just kidding. I know I sound insane, but his tickets are dropping today and I have to look sexy for my man, okay? <laughs> but I'm actually terrified. I'm ready for war and I'm going in with positive energy just because there's nothing I can really do to try to get in the waiting room faster or like, you know, not get that dreaded 2000 plus people in front of you because Ticketmaster is just... I don't know. They really know how to make me frustrated sometimes. Okay, eyebrows are done. And I think it's a little bit more arched than I had hoped for. But I didn't want to alter my natural brow shape too much. So this is what we're going with. Okay, now it's on to the eyes. And I'm pretty nervous about it. I think I can do it. We'll see. So it looks like she has a dark brown on her outer corners. So I think I'm going to go in with this color right here and then just go for it. I feel like I get really nervous when I'm doing makeup, but seriously, worst case scenario is that you mess up and then you can just take it off and try again. See, just like how I messed up, I can just go like this. Uh, let's see if I can fix it. Okay, step one, done. Now I'm just gonna take this kind of tan color and mix it in with this brown and then put it over here and here. I'm doing this because I feel like it could make my eyes look a little bit more circular because I'm kind of faking shadows. And then I'm just gonna use the excess and then put it over here, I don't know. She has a really shimmery color on the middle of her lid. So I'm just gonna take this kind of goldish champagne and put it there. See, can you tell the difference? I feel like this eye looks a lot more round than this one. She has a very cute little baby wing going on with black liner, so I'm just gonna do that. Are there any movies or shows that you guys are watching? Oh my gosh, this wing is so baby. This is so not used to what I'm doing. You know, I just go all the way over here, honestly. <laughs> okay, I actually think I messed that up, so let me just take it off. <sighs> this is what I get for trying to be cool and talk while I do my eyeliner. I think that looks better. And what I did differently, I don't know if you can tell that much, but I didn't start from in here, like kind of where, you know, like your eye, ends right there because that's where I usually do my eyeliner 
but okay, I look crazy, but you can see that I started it a little bit higher than that because later we have to do a little wing down here and I want it to be enough space. Then you can see the difference between the two. Even enough, sisters, not twins. Okay, sorry, going back to like the movies and TV shows. I am here for K-media, okay? I love K-dramas, I love K-movies. Because I don't know the language, obviously, I feel a lot more immersed into the story because I have to really sit down and read the subtitles and really absorb everything that's going on, if that makes sense. Because with English speaking shows, like I like know what's going on. So it's really easy for me to get really distracted or kind of zone out. And obviously storylines in K-dramas are just so fun. I love Love them. I recently just watched Move to Heaven and that was the most emotional K-drama I've ever watched in my life. It is absolutely amazing. I don't want to say too much because I kind of went into it not knowing much about it because I like just going to the shows like that. But all I can say is that it was exquisite and I really recommend it. I've also been watching Physical 100 and a show has never made me feel weaker in my life. Literally me and Martin after watching it for the first time went to the gym the next morning <laughs> because we felt so weak. And because of what I talked about earlier, I kind of neglected kind of English speaking shows, but I have a new development. I actually just started watching Ginny and Georgia. I know I'm really really late on the train, but I think when it first started getting really popular I would see TikToks about it and then I saw the tap dance that Hunter does and I don't think I've ever gotten more secondhand embarrassment I mean nothing to the actor, but I really thought the entire show would be a very like teen kind of I don't know like Riverdale-esque show and that's just like not my vibe But I just finished season one yesterday and I really really like it It's kind of like don't judge a book by its cover. I guess in this instance it would be don't judge a TV show by a really awkward tap dance. <laughs> the lashes are, I would say, the biggest part of this look. And I'm gonna try to curl my bottom lashes because they're gorgeous in the photo. And it really scares me when I try to do this. But it doesn't help that my bottom lashes are so baby that it's so hard for the lash curler to even grip it in the first place. Can you see them? Kind of. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go in and tight line my eyes so that when I apply lashes later, it's a little bit more seamless. She has a very sharp inner corner, so I'm just gonna go in with brown liner and try to mimic that. I learned this from Jessica Vu, but if you go in first, and not like stab your eye with your liner, but really go in there and filling it in really makes it look a lot more seamless, and then I'm just gonna try to do a little point. This is the difference. So I think if you have longer and natural lashes, you can just go from curling it, putting mascara, and then going straight to the individual lashes. But since I have little baby ones, I'm gonna go in first with these strip lashes. But because they're a little bit spiky like this already, I think it would provide a really good base. These lashes are actually from a little something something. I'm working on, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> And add some mascara so it's easier to pinch them together. I also try to go in on the other side so it's a little bit more sticky. The strip lashes are on and now I'm gonna go in with some clusters. I do think that individual lashes would work better but I don't have any so I'm just gonna use these. But let's just see how this one works out. You can see that these clusters are really long and curly though. Her lashes are really pointy so I'm just gonna try to find a pointy one like that and then put some lash glue on top because I'm going to be putting these under the other lashes. Like going under like this. Oh. <sighs> It's okay, it's really pointy and straight up, but I think maybe this is just the process. Let me just try to keep going and see how it looks. I feel like the look is very, oh, I have eyelash extensions, but I haven't gotten a fill in a month type of look. And I eat it up every time, it looks so good. I'm trying to decide if I like it, and I fear that it's a little bit too dense. I think with hers, it's very, it emphasizes length rather than volume, and I think this is giving both. So maybe on this eye, I'll try to do it with just the little clusters and then see which one looks better. Okay, let's try. <laughs> I just finished this eye and now I'm looking at it and I don't know if I just look insane or I'm not used to this kind of lash look on me but I think I did the best that I could and honestly the difference between having the strip lash or not is very minuscule so I don't even think I'm just gonna redo this one we're just gonna go with it. I love her bottom lash line area where it's a little bit purpley so I'm just gonna take this color right here and line my lower lash line with it. And then it looks like she took a really dark brown and smoked out the outer corners and created a little mini wing. I'm just gonna take a little baby brush like this and try to do that. 
Okay, I think I extended that a little bit too far, so I'm just gonna clean it up. I think my brush is too fat. I thought it was thin enough to actually get it to be like really smoky but sharp, but it can't do it. She has a pretty pronounced egg yasol. Egg yasol? I don't know, I still can't say it, but I'm gonna take like a pretty light tan right here and then just put it under my eyes and make a little shadow. I'm actually gonna go in with my brow pencil and then make that line a little bit more defined. Okay, I think I'm done with the eyes. I know they're not perfect, but I've been sitting here for two hours. My ass hurt, my tummy is loud. I'm gonna go in now and contour. For this, I feel like it's mainly about sculpting your face instead of actually bronzing, if that makes sense. So I'm not gonna go too heavy handed. And also I'm gonna contour here just so I can have a little bit more of a V-line shape. Sorry, the lighting is changing so much. I'm looking outside right now and it is so dark. California has been so rainy and gloomy and I really like it because I'm a homebody so it's really nice to just hear like the rain and all of that. On the rare occasion I go outside, I'm just not someone that likes the rain. By the way, a way to contour your nose so you look like you have a more pronounced like taller nose bridge, make sure you apply your contour right here as well. Now we're gonna go in with blush and I have this really cute heart shaped one and I chose this one. It's very matte and I think in the photo it looks really similar. She focuses right here which is not usually what I do so I'm excited to try this I usually like going up here actually and then the last step finally are the lips and I love lip butters lately it's color and gloss all in one and I think this is a pretty good color match for the hair I wanted to show you something that I've been seeing a lot of doyoung girls doing to create a lot of volume in their hair this is the secret. It's kind of like a crimper. I know there's a lot of different methods to get volume in your hair, but I've been seeing this one a lot and I think this is the easiest. But what you're gonna do is just take a section, I would say just like this much. Basically, you just wanna get into the under layer of your hair and then just take a little section from that. You're gonna take your crimper, hold it for like one second and then hold it and like curl it in like that if that makes sense you don't want to keep it on for too long you don't want to have your hair burn off but basically just go like this also make sure you have a heat protectant as well and then as it's cooling down kind of zhuzh it up like this it doesn't look too crazy honestly under but what it does is because you're crimping it it adds like a lot of texture see like you see how much bigger that is <laughs> but what it does is since the under layer is crimped it has like a really good foundation so then when your other hair lays over it there's a lot of volume it's honestly really really easy to to do and once I discovered this I feel like my hair game has been just so good my natural hair is just really flat and make sure you do the back of your head too because you don't want to have like a lot of volume here and then you have a flat head in the back I think just the key is just making sure you grab enough hair like initially on the top so when you try to cover the crimped part like the crimp part doesn't show through okay this is what my hair looks like I feel like with a lot of volume in my hair it just looks like I kind of came out of the salon and I think it looks really nice it makes your face look smaller too but yeah super easy it takes less than five minutes but again make sure you're careful with this you definitely don't want to burn your hair off okay I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun chatting with you guys and catching up. I think it was cool to try something new with my makeup. I think I did a decent job. I love you so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!